with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Everybody feel it come around with ground with ground. Everybody, everybody ground with ground with ground. Hi there, how are you doing? Welcome back. I'm Sim UK and this is City Skylines. We're very much looking forward to the arrival of City Skylines 2. Uh, but because we don't have access to it yet, the best thing I can do is to uh, play City Skylines, the original, and try and get myself up to speed by playing this game. And I have expanded my horizons a lot playing this. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, we put a, an electric dam across the river <laughs> oh we learned some lessons there i can tell you if you didn't see that go back and watch it that was most entertaining um yeah and hopefully that's gonna really solve our electricity problems but considering it's supposed to be able to kick out 16 1600 megawatts of power we i think the the best we got was 160 megawatts of power which is just not enough now i don't know whether perhaps it's regulated and it only kicks out as much power as as is required so as our oil runs out and our oil um power factories uh stop producing power and our coal factories stop producing power then perhaps they'll step in and up the ante a little bit but uh, i don't know i don't know i've also been thinking we've done incredibly well considering i've only purchased one plot of land and i haven't exactly expanded into it too much i don't suppose well i suppose no, i have a bit mostly trying to make use of that oil but we've got lots of ore down the bottom so i'm thinking maybe we need to start looking at that because we're going to be running out of oil a lot sooner than i was expecting i know we bought two bits of land didn't we i bought this in the end of the last episode so we're going to put some peeps up here let's have a look see we're looking for forty-eight thousand. it's only a growth of ten thousand people and this section here that has ten thousand people in it so we know we can do it that isn't the problem what is the problem here that's full Right, how much cash have we got? 81,000. I desperately want to get one of these new and improved waste processing complex things. That's the incinerator, recycling, floating garbage, waste transfer facility. So I might just slide that in there and get rid of some buildings. Let's do it. It's such an important part of the game. And somewhere in here, when I can afford it, we're going to get the waste processing complex. But that's 100,000. I should have bought that instead of the uh, recycling thing, I know. Right, game on. Here we go. Um, I've got to go put my daughter to bed in one hour. 45 minutes, in fact. Um, so we're going to have to have a pause section in between our gameplay section. Um, traffic seems to be okay. Let's just run through quickly and see where we are. I mean, traffic is busy. Yes, it's busy, but it's flowing. Honestly, I don't know why it's red. I think that's pretty good, actually. That seems to be running really, really quite well. Um... Average traffic close, 69%. I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's bad at all. It's better than the real world. Garbage is a problem. We're working towards that. I need 100,000 to get that other factory. Landfill is about half full. Uh, I mean, happiness is pretty good, especially the people. And industrials. The industrial people are very happy. Maybe I should raise their taxes. Taxes. Let's do a two percent hike on each. That'll make them less happy and give us a bit more money to work with. I think that's a, a fair trade. Um, 
water situation right so we do have a water situation issue let's start with power shall we power is not looking good power is not looking good at all and the dam 96 megawatts It's so much less than I was expecting. Disappointed. Um, so we're not going to be able to get 10,000 people with that amount of power. What am I going to do? <laughs> Let's get the water situation sorted out. Well, no. Let's get the waste problem sorted out first, and then we'll move to the water. So we do have quite a few of these water treatment plants. We have that new, bigger, better water treatment plant in here somewhere. Do we? It's not in there. That's interesting. Where does that go then? Ah, that would be in water. Of course it will. Is it this one? Don't want to pump raw sewage into bodies of water. You can build a water treatment plant to reduce the environmental impact of the city. It purifies 85% of the pollution in sewage. I mean, for 15,000. For 15,000, that just makes so much sense. Look at all this filth down here. We've got to stop that. Where to put it? Oh, it's a big old thing, isn't it? on the outskirts. Oh, it goes... Oh, it goes in the water. Oh. Okay. Interesting. All right, well... What difference does that make to the sewage treatment situation? Let's have a look at this. That's pumping out 120,000 cubic metres a week. And that's pumping out 160,000 cubic metres a week. So I can get rid of both of these and put this in. And that's going to massively reduce... Massively reduce the amount of pollution. Oh, you sod. You would, you would make it awkward, wouldn't you? Right, so we got two of those bad boys on the go. I really do think we ought to bring the water collection area much further upstream. Well away from all well away from all of that nastiness. Cracking. Very pleased. Let's have a look at the water situation. The sewage treatment processing hasn't really improved. But 
I would imagine the amount of pollution has considered look at that that's how much we were producing all that filth and now there's barely anything so I think we've done very well there So, in theory, I could just grab another one of these. And I think that's going to make us sufficient at getting rid of waste. And another one of these here should make us sufficient at bringing in fresh water. So the sewage treatment has gone up beautifully. Uh, the water availability hasn't gone up that much. This is odd. This is 120,000 cubic meters I've just added. Maybe just give it a bit more time to catch up with itself. I think it's working just fine. Just fine. All right. Doesn't seem like it's coming up. It should be higher than that. We're I think one more. crazy here but there we go that's more like it that's in the safe ground i say right now power is still a problem uh waste is definitely still a problem so let's get the waste thing sorted because that's been a problem for a long time so this is a waste processing complex it's enormous Boom. it's in we've got it hundred thousand dollars worth of waste processing right so the trucks are off and out and running and working landfill is only so these are not super full that one is emptying because it's full is emptying because it is full and that one is now emptying because it is full ah, my daughter just came down to tell me that she'd finished the book that she was reading and tell me all about it and tell me what she liked about it etc etc so that's groovy um right everything is running really quite smoothly i'm i'm really quite impressed uh lake windy rear is a bit of a disappointment i might come back to try and fix that one day once we maybe once we reach a megatropolis then we'll start expanding out and seeing if we can make it you know beautify the area and perfect it a little bit oh dear we've got some power issues maybe i don't have time to do that if I put another dam in, would that be silly, having two dams? An advanced coal power plant outputs 56 megawatts compared to 40. So maybe we upgrade the old power, power stations, what do you think? Coal. Not enough fuel. See, this is the problem. Not enough fuel. But why is there not enough fuel? Okay. Okay. So, I can see that this is a very slow route in. So, maybe we need to connect up another route here. 
Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Let's, let's do a thing. Let's improve it by doing a thing. So we go motorway. We go highway ramp. I think we're going to come off about here. Are we on curved? No, we're on straight. God. Give us a, whoops, let's give ourselves a little bit more room to do this. this road here, isn't it? thing is, it's a very busy road, but Let's just see if that helps alleviate things because all the trucks can just come round now and go straight into the city instead of creating all this traffic down here and around here so hopefully that will alleviate all of those problems that makes sense actually So electricity is just about borderline working. It's a bit of a serious ramp there, but not too terrible. And because it's single lane traffic, I don't think it should cause too much. But it's slowing things down a smidge here, isn't it? There's a bit of backup. Um, okay, we're going to try... try this <clears throat> that should help alleviate the separation of traffic from here well, that's a two lane thing oh no it shouldn't be this should be one way traffic all the way up 
So that's one way, that's one way. There we go. Does that fix the problem? We got to get to forty-eight thousand. We're at thirty-nine thousand. Okay. Okay. So now we have a massive backup of traffic again. The lack of intelligence of the AI is astounding. So many routes they could take. I mean, look at this. There's hardly any traffic down here. certainly don't help things do they right has that alleviated our traffic our electricity traffic slash problem a smidge a smidge yeah, that's a coal power plant there so we're going to sell that and hopefully an upgraded coal power plant oh no that doesn't fit in that space at all I've run out of places to stick smelly power plants. Ah. There's a geothermal power pl plant. It's noisy, but no pollution. Output 60 megawatts. That's quite a lot. 65,000. And it's really quite small. So I wonder if I can fit that in that space where the... Yeah, annoyingly it has to go lengthwise. So, that could fit in that gap. because uh, the road doesn't reach. There's something there. I don't know what's there. Oh, will it fit? Oh, so nearly fits in that gap. This is where expansion needs to come into play, I think, doesn't it? Right, so it's it's noisy... It's quite noisy. So, I mean, I could just plonk her over here, couldn't I? And hopefully that connects up to the, the rig, the system. And gives us... Uh, sorry, this one. That's outputting 80 megawatts, and that's 60,000. And this is outputting 64. And that cost a lot more. And caused a lot more trouble. So geothermal for me right now seems to be the, uh, the much better option, I think. Right, power situation. Oh, we are low. Is this connecting to the main power grid, though? I'm not convinced that it is. Let's make absolutely sure that it is. Mm -hmm. 
and see if that boosts the amount of power that we're producing. Really not. I have just deleted two power stations though. Oh, hello. I'm thinking this has woken up. I don't know I don't understand how this could fluctuate. It's all the way down to 48 megawatts now. It's completely unreliable. What's an absolute disgrace that is. Right, we're gonna have to get a second one of these. That's the, that's the solution. Geothermal. Geothermal all the way, I think. Solar updraft, what does this do? Wow, that produces 240 megawatts. And it has even less noise pollution and no overall pollution. Solar updraft tower. Okay, the solar updraft tower looks to be... The, the, the answer to all of our problems. So we're going to phase out the coal and introduce these bad boys. They're quite noisy. So relocating this is going to be expensive. So let's put it, I think, here. To annoy the traffic and not the people. Yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, so that finally solves that problem. Garbage processing is actually in a positive state. Oh, this one's ready to be opened. Look, it's only 6% full, 5% full. It's going really, 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 really well. Where's that new thing I built? The waste processing. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Bloody hell. It's picked up a lot of stuff. So it's outputting 36 megawatts a week, which is really helpful. But more importantly, it's getting rid of the... Uh, all that trash. What time is it? Let me just check. Okay, I've got 20 minutes. Do you think I could get the number of people we need in 20 minutes. I need the cash first to build the geothermally thingy. I think the water can just about sustain the expansion. I mean, I could expand down here. I've got two options. That makes a little bit more sense because this is where a lot of the city is, like the city buildings, the, the high-rise they call it Silicon Valley-esque type thing. I forgot about this train line. I should totally tap into that, shouldn't I? I put a train station in. Oh, oh, that sounds exciting. Let's have a look. I don't think I've ever done that either. Bus depot, trolley bus, tram, metro, train. What's this? Train line, train station, cargo train terminal. Okay, let's look at the train station. So it has to go against a road. So first of all, we're going to have to build a road. So that works. 
Oh, we got 90,000. Here we go. Massive, massive step in the right direction. Look at that. The future is solar updraft. That's outputting 240 megawatts immediately. Not messing about. Here's your power. Get on and do your day job. Look at that. F flat out. All good. All right, what's this? Coal power plant. Sell it. Sell it. Sell that one. Okay, that's starting to tap into um, our power reserves. But only just starting to. So where are the trucks going at the moment? Damn it, why can't I move that? Why can't I move that? It's right in my way. So the trucks are going... Where the hell are they going? I do not understand what that's showing me. They're going all around the houses, apparently. I can see a truck there. Let's click on him. Where are you going, mate? So it's just going here. It's just picking it up from there. Perfect. And then because it's a one-way system, instead of just coming back the easy way, it's going all over the bloody planet to get home. Okay, fine. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh... Solar updraft is definitely the solution we've been looking for. If I can get one more of those, we can pretty much get rid of all the coal. But we don't need to worry about that right now. Our current focus is new things. Oh. What have we got? Population of 41,000. Uh, we're nearly maxed out on households. Everybody's working. How's that? That's pretty good, right? And average stone building level. City attractiveness is 12%. So it's probably one of the ugliest cities you'll ever see. But my god, it's it's performing well. Everybody's happy. We've got 35% stupid people, 31% educated, 25% well educated, and 9% highly educated. That's a good balance, I think. Maybe do with having some more libraries out there, but. You can't have everything all at once, can you? Uh, that one. Train station. Boop, 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 boop. Now, is that going to be too close or too far away? made a lot of people happy. I don't know why, because it doesn't go anywhere. But I'm happy to have happy people. We've got a train station. I mean, we don't have any trains because nothing goes anywhere. But that's really quite exciting, isn't it? 
We can have more train stations all over the all over the place now. And then maybe I can expand out and do my dream of making this the, like super high value area. That would be nice. I think a train station over here would work quite well. Whew. It's kind of almost anticlimactic, that, wasn't it? <laughs> so excited. I've built my first train station. That's very exciting. We only have one train station, so it doesn't go anywhere. But that's still exciting in my head. Right. Um... And we have, like, external... External stuff going on. We are connected externally to other places. Which makes us very, very cool. Right. Let's... Oh. Really? You can't go over the train track? Oh, you can go over the train track. But you have to do it in a weird way. Right, I'm going to stop there. 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 That's very, very nice and exciting. I'm glad that's working so well. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit less rigid. A little bit more space for population. Why is that a problem? Oh, money! Oh, we're out of money. So the demand is for offices and stuff, not for people. That's a bit of a concern. Right, well, I'm going to have to turn that into offices then. Which is absolutely not what I wanted to do. And I don't like being in a position where we're making so little money that every time I build something, I'm out, I'm broke again. That's, that's horrible. Okay, so they've got power. And the offices have just gone mad, haven't they? Just gone completely out of control. Problem being, of course, that not everybody is super smarty pants. So uh, I'm going to make that old school industry and that new industry yeah that works for me we're gonna have a lot of money coming in there <clears throat> okay we also need some new shopping precincts so maybe i can expand on i, I, I built like a dedicated shopping area oh here 
Yeah, I don't really want to expand on that. But maybe we could build something like that here. There's no oil reserves to speak of. Slightly wrong. So I meant to build that there. Good. Right, so that's got to be moved because that's now pulling in no oil. Same with that one. The rest of them still seem to be okay, so we'll leave them where they are. Um, let's get some power over here. Oh. And some water. I think, I think we're alright for water. Right, so I can build shopping precinct area anywhere but there I'm going to leave that for a sports set like um, <clears throat> a sports arena or something massive like that okay so let's go with super super nice posh let's go for medium lanes Sidewalks and trees. That's going to be lovely. This is. Right, which building? Which building am I going to destroy? Maybe I come from here. Oh, there's a there's a, a naughty little oil patch right there. So this could be like a really high value shopping area. Let's see parking. Perfect. I'm gonna just paint this blue. some houses up in there as well right, what time is it let me just check i've right, got five minutes so i'm going to pause there guys and i'll be right back you won't even notice that i've gone and i'm back hello so um do we have enough for a geothermal no okay don't panic mr mannering see there's a huge demand see the demand for industry and offices just dropped off astronomically maybe that was a bad decision I don't know let's see how the shopping precinct works it seems to be sprouting how's the oil field doing Gonna have to move these.
bit there and there's a bit down here, so maybe I'll just extend this road. Oh, I was going to keep that section clear, wasn't I? All right, we'll have to. We'll turn this into a sports area once all the oil is gone. We'll, we'll do something incredible with it. Slither there, look. Oh, annoying. Right, 72 grand in the bank, ticking over rather nicely. Let's do a quick check of the systems. Electricity, check. Water, check. Garbage, check. Education, slightly under perfect, but check. Um, happiness. Industrial happiness is far too high, isn't it? Let's make them less happy. I can't have it. I can't have them be so bloody happy. Uh, that's, that's really got to upset them, isn't it? It's really got to bring their happiness down. Oh, office happiness is already low. Okay, let me... Let me let me re recheck that. Okay. Still super happy. Maybe it's because uh, of the oil field that they're so happy. Right, so we do have other resources down here. Right, we have some blue ore. I don't think we need to worry about that yet. When we're down to our last well, then yes. Then we need to think about it. What's this one? Levels. Residential levels. Doesn't really fix the traffic problem. Average traffic though is 61%. I, st I still don't think that's terrible for us for a city that is so jam-packed. There is no demand for anything, is there? It's really quite disappointing. We're at 43,000. We just need five five thousand more people. Um, I think this is the easiest area to expand. I think we're running that, that system, aren't we? Let's run a big fat road down here. I think that, I think that works better. Really? <clears throat> ah, 
there's a, a horrible wonky bit. We can't have that. We can't do that. That's still a bit wonky, but that will do. Right, we'll go to single lanes. And we have trees either side. Just make it nice, you know. Oh, hello. What have I built there? Something very awesome. school? Is that a high school? It's an elementary school. Okay. So I wanted to get like all sorts of parks and stuff in here. I completely forgot. We've got an amusement park, we've got a zoo. I, yeah, that's what I should do, a nature reserve, something like that. Plazas, parks. Ah, uh, no, what I want is health and fitness stuff. A medical helicopter depot, that's pretty good. Sports hall and gymnasium. Destroyed someone's house by putting that there. Christ, that must have been more expensive than I thought it was going to be. How much was that? 75,000 for a pool. That was 120,000. I did not look before I clicked on that, on that front. So that is in a terrible location. That should not be there. That should be here. more accessible being there. We are pretty good, guys, across the board. We need a fire station. I don't have 12,000. Come on. Okay, so the police coverage is much better. Got a police station here. I see a bit of crime going on down there. We'll have that sorted in no time at all. The wound has hit an all-time low. This is a bit... It's annoying. situation sorted out quickly. Actually, 
Let's put... Shopping in there. Business down there. Yeah, growth is slow, but steady. Power is okay. Water is okay. Garbage is okay. Education is a little bit low. I still don't understand how it's low, to be honest. Is it just these grumpy people around the outside here that say that their elementary school is just too far away to get to? Oh, I took that road out and never put it back in, look. No wonder they think they can't get anywhere. What did I put there? Taxi stand. Right, well. There's a good opportunity for a taxi stand to come here. That's going to help that. Quite significant problem of people not being able to get down here. There's a lack of electricity at the moment because people are not moving in and building houses quick enough. They're just going to have to lump it, I'm afraid. A fantastic zoo there, couldn't we? Not enough buyers for products. Well, that's fine. That is not an issue. We're absolutely full. That's what we want. We want them to be absolutely full. Definitely try and upgrade this, but I think it's going to destroy all of these houses. What the hell? Taxes are too high. Right, <laughs> they're not happy anymore, are they? Good, right. Let's bring the taxes back down a bit. Wow, look at that, they all left. That's why demand dropped. I, I killed demand. You watch it now, it's going to go skyrocket. 45,000, we're nearly there guys, we've nearly done the next level. I'm so proud of what we've achieved, well done everybody. Your help has been incredible. Oh look at this. There's a little bit of filth, but hardly any. Hardly any. Look at this creating no pollution whatsoever compared to everything around it which is just filthy filthy disgustingness do we have enough for another one i found my solution i'm happy now 90k okay a little bit off and we're not actually making that much cash either things have slowed down i put the taxes up too high
Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in taxis, I'm going to drop this to eight. Then up to eleven. Back down to seven. Then up to ten. We'll put these at eleven and eleven. Which kind of doesn't really change anything, but it should hopefully drive demand a smidge. Get the ball rolling at least. I'm going to buy some land. I'm going to buy here. And that almost gets me to where I want to be. But what it does do... Oh, hello. That's interesting. Let me get out of that. What it does do is open up a lot of trees. So we could do like a foresting type thing. Of course, that would mean there would be no trees, so maybe I won't. Maybe we'll open up this side. Uh, let's have a look at how much that's going to be. Because you can see what I'm going for, obviously. It's a good area for farming. But I want to come down here and build my... My super beachfront. Super mega... I don't know what I'm going to build there. That's going to be a real experiment. This is the only area for farming, so we're definitely going to have to do some farming over here. Without a doubt. Forty-five thousand. Demand is coming back up very slowly, but it's coming up. Everyone's happy again. See, industrial happiness is is far too high. I can't I can't stand them being that happy. Just be slightly less happy than that, and I'll be happy. Land value. See, land value is pretty good. We're all blues and greens around here, baby. Leisure. And there's an area. There, there's, a, there's a problem. No leisure facilities. pool. That would be good. Come on, that fits there. No, how does that not fit there? I think it's because the land is a bit wonky. I could move this helicopter thing because Technically, that doesn't need to be there, does it? Right, hang on. Oh, hang on. Is that the right one? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. They're going to call them the Twin Towers. So we're now producing nearly twice the electricity that we need. And some of these plants aren't even running, so that's not running. So I'm just going to get rid of it. That's not running. I'm going to get rid of it. This is good. We're lowering pollution. That one is running. But I think we can get away without it. Those two in the dam... I think are enough to keep us going. And I'll get a third one in there and that'll be us... Totally sorted for ease and whiz. Sweet. 
tourism. Okay, so tourists like to come to the multi-story decorative parking lot. That's a bit weird. They like going to this one as well. I don't want to know what they do when they get there. Dog park. So there's a few things dotted around. Oh, a few bits here and there. Right, this could definitely be moved. Um, I think over there is absolutely perfect. It's a bit noisy though. It is a bit noisy. There's a good spot. Well, once I've got 6,000, I'll put... Uh, oh, look at that. It's just close enough to get electricity. That's so cool. Right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Someone's complaining about noise. I don't know who, though, because... Uh... Pretty sure nobody's uh, making any noise near anybody, anybody's house, I don't think. How much is a pool? Talk to me. University hospital. Yoga garden. Community pool, there we go. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Cheap at half the price. It's sitting there. It might, you know. That would be very cool. We're a little way off having that sort of money. Medium demand for commercial zones. Alright, I hear you. How about that? So the high-end, expensive street has gone well. I've sucked out nearly all of that oil, which is groovy. He's nearly sucked out all of that oil. I'm going to bring this guy over here. Make sure he's got some electricity to work with. grab this with something as well but maybe we'll let that tiny little bit go right now some of our trash areas must be empty because I've been emptying them for ages this one 5% full so you can reopen 37% full okay we'll keep you emptying then That one's empty, so that one can start working again. So, all right, look at that. Landfill usage, 11%. Garbage processing status is in the green, but I bet you in a couple of seconds, or in a couple of minutes maybe, that will shoot right up as well. So we have learnt huge amounts, slowly, progressively, periodically. How has that not got power? Fix 
next. How are we doing? 46,086 people a week. Uh, there are houses here, there and everywhere. I think it's time we thought about... Well, there's a park. A proper park that I need to do, which I don't know how to do. Um... Go for medium roads, trees on either side. I think we're going to upgrade and destroy all of these houses. You'll appreciate it eventually, people. You will. Wonkier than I wanted it, I'll be honest. That's not, not necessarily a terrible thing, is it? a proper park like a town park oh I better I better build that city park congratulations broad city park has reached level one cool so we've got a park plaza, park info booth, park restroom, and a park side gate, and a park cafe. Groovy. I need to make that bigger, first of all. Terrible job there, because that's destroying people's houses. We'll get this right in a minute. That's a bit smaller. Hard. 
that's 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 way too big. Nope, that's too big. Ah, uh, you can follow the road and get like a nice clean edge. Oh, that's handy. See, another thing I've learnt. That is superb. Right. So probably these places should not have houses on them. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe you could have houses inside of a park. I mean, it would be very expensive. Because you would almost by default have an enormous... Um, there's no demand for housing, so people aren't moving in. That's a bit of a worry. There's no, there's no electricity. And that really is a worry. All right, let's let's do our thing. Let's do the third one. That's it. I guess it was this that let us down. Yeah, see, it's only producing 64 megawatts of, of power. Don't know why. Oh, hang on. Is this reliant on the sunshine? So when there's no sunshine, I have no energy. You are kidding, right? It's not the absolute definitive solution I thought it was, is it? Blast. Oh, hello. Here's an opportunity. be doing that. It's like a round robin moment that. That's huge. Maybe this is where all the sports stuff is going to be. It opens up the city quite nicely, that does. Oh no, the high school is on fire. Make sure the fire department has good connections in the area. We have excellent connections in the area. Fire engine's already there, mate. It's already out. Problem solved. Smashed it. How many people we got? 47. We just need 900 people more to move into the city. Looks like... Uh, why are people having garbage problems here? Is it just a traffic problem? I think I'm going to do this road upgrade. What are we running there? We're running central down the middle, right? Oh, it's going to destroy everything. You can't do that in real life. You can't just say we're going to destroy everything down this road. Oh my god, look how many look how many people are waiting for a bus. I have got to fix that. That is not good.
Alright, so what is here that I've built that's a thing? What is this lot? Police station. Okay, we can move the police station there. Okay, that's that problem fixed. What's this? Firehouse again. That's that problem solved. Right, perfect. Upgrade. And that, ladies and gentlemen has dramatically improved the number of cars that can drive up and down this stretch but my god there's a lot of traffic and so many so many people waiting for buses this is insane what's this bus depot doing Buses in use, one. I've only got two bus lines. Lanes, lines. I don't see the route. I don't see either route. We've got 15 vehicles on there. Oh yeah, let's get more. I didn't know you could do that. So now we can have 37 buses. Okay, that's good. Show me the other route. Don't hide the line. Show me the line. Right, let's see if that helps a bit. I'm probably going to have to spend an episode just doing bus routes and really thinking about how to make that work better because the traffic situation is horrendous isn't it perhaps I need to think about bus lanes well, I'll give it some time, I'll give it some time, because if you look how many buses I've got there waiting to pick up these passengers, maybe the numbers are going to go down. There you go, look, huge numbers of people getting on that bus. So that might really fix the problem. That might start working really well. And these guys here have no bus stops whatsoever, so let's, let, let's drop a... Step her in along here. Let's go for a. How do I do a new line? I can't remember. Oh, I know, I know, I know. There we go. Right, so this line's going to start here. Why would you do that? Oh, because I take it you can't go around that way.
Well, the people seem to like there being a bus route. quite a decent bus route. I'm quite happy with that one. It's clean, it's concise, it makes sense. What colour should we make this? Let's make this one green, bright green. Yeah, I'm happy with that one. That's probably my most happy bus route. bus route could be improved. That blue bus route could be extended and then we could do with the bus route up here as well. Still growing. What's our target? 48,000. We're very close. At one point we only needed 900 people. What happened? Or did I Did I get my numbers wrong? So we definitely need a bus stop by the train. Rather than having one bus route do everything, I'm going to try and have interconnecting bus routes. Not that I've done that yet, but that is where we're heading. Yeah, another good route. Okay, what colour should we make that? Let's make this one red. Okay. Right, so, so much for doing a, a complete episode on it. We'll just, we'll nail it right now. Let's have a look at this bus stop and see if we've improved things at all. Oh, massively, look! Massively improved things. There are now not... 10 million people waiting for the one bus. There may be too many buses now. Uh, that's a whole di different thing. It's 24 stops. I think we need 24 buses. I think one bus per stop is, is perfectly adequate, right? Completely lost my bearings. Where are we? Okay, and this one only has 17 stops. This one has 29 stops, so we'll that 29 this this kind of makes sense to me I, I like this logic this also has 29 stops what are the chances of that 
Right, so there should be one bus at every stop. That's the that's the theory behind that. Commercial zone. Commercial zone desire has gone up again. Shall we? quickly they uh, take up that opportunity massive car park in the middle to encourage shopping Got no power at the moment but if demand is to be believed then uh, we are there. Right, we are now literally 700 people away from completing this objective. There's still a lot of people that haven't moved in over here. Or are there? Yes, there are a few. Right, where was the thing for leisure? Tourism. So there, leisure... Opportunities are very poor. How could they say their leisure opportunities are poor when they've got all this stuff? I was going to put a swimming pool in, wasn't I? Let's do that. I'd like to do that. was expensive but I think worth it they're not like I thought they were like basketball courts and things like that yoga garden they're like mega 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 things aren't they What is that? 15k. Well, I think that's quite cheap. Aha. Ah, it doesn't quite fit. Blast. No, that would destroy all those houses. Could go there on the outskirts of the city. That made everyone happy. Tropical garden. Who doesn't love a tropical garden, eh? Complaining they don't have enough leisure things. Uh, oh, we've done it! A colossal city. We are <coughs> at forty-eight thousand people. That's incredible. Uh, we got some harbour stuff. We got nuclear power plants. That's new. Cargo hubs. Harbour bus, monorail, and a helicopter stop. I don't know what a helicopter stop is. Helicopter depot. It's all about helicopters, apparently. Colossal cities. <laughs> Chirp X launch site. What? Oh look, we've just dropped. We've just dropped below 48,000. Just temporarily. Outrageous. Right, there are some cool things we can build. Lots of new stuff. What comes after a... Oh, we're two away from completing this, look. 
Metropolis and a Megalopolis. Yeah, we've hit 48,000 again. I bet you've never seen that before. How many YouTubers have hit Colossal City twice in one episode, hey? Pretty good going. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.